Hey, my name is Mark Bridge of Trim Engineers. I'd like to take a couple of minutes this afternoon to talk about redirects and tree care. For starters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over into the other part of the canopy. So, there's a number of ways you could redirect. The point being, I've anchored over in that side of the tree and I want to do some work in this side of the canopy. So I could choose very simply just to pass my line through a natural crotch, do a natural crotch redirect to be able to work the side of the tree. Now, you know, whilst that's easy and quick, there is some obvious downsides to that. There's a lot of friction. I, it's hard work to move up and down and you'll also be causing damage as the line runs over the bark. So an obvious first redirect will just use a webbing sling and a carabiner. I could, there's two things I can do. I can pass them around the stem in a basket configuration, or if I want more length, I can choke it. Now I think in this case, I'm gonna use a basket. And then I'm gonna, I obviously need to give myself a bit of slack to be able to pass both parts of the line through the carabiner. I can now release my lanyard and start to climb. Again, this is an easy fix, but these two lines are actually running in two different directions. It's gonna build friction here, not very easy to move up and down on that. So one thing I might choose to do because of that, is to simply add in a pulley. If I do that, what I'm going to do is that the lower side of the line, let's call that the side with the friction hitch on it, goes in to the outro, and the splice side of the line goes into the top. Now here you can see the line runs through the channel between the two cheek plates of the Pinto, meaning that at least now I've separated out the two parts of the line, there is somewhat less friction. Having said that though, it's still not great for moving up and down. Depending on the diameter of line, it may pinch between the two cheeks of the between the cheeks of the pinto, and there's this is still building friction. So depending on the situation, something that I've found myself using a lot recently is a um, revolver revolver rig. Just let me show you how I store that. Just get this back on the harness again. So, get the sling out of the way. Good. So, stored on this vault behind my handsaw, I have a revolver rig, a Fecto, a Pinto, and a multi sling. You can see I've got them stored on the becket of the revolver rig, meaning that all the, te the textiles hang below my handsaw. So I'm not in conflict, even if I'm hanging in an awkward position, it's unlikely that that's gonna co come into contact. If I need it, I just pop it out of the vault and it's ready to be used. Now, when I start to set up this redirect, the first thing I'll do is I'll take off the Perfecto and the Pinto. The way I've stored it is I actually have it on the front side, on the gate side of the carabiner. The reason for that is, is that there's less material there to move around. I can either take it off like that or like that. If I have it on the back side, there's simply more material to move it past and it's just more fiddly to get it off. So I tend to have it on the front side towards the gate. So pop this off. I'm just gonna place the Pinto on split on the friction hitch side of the climbing line and I'm just going to leave it there forget about it for the moment. The multi-sling I store by passing, let me undo that, by passing the bite of the line through the ring and pass it over the top of the revolver rig. That's always how I'll store that sling. You could obviously get it shorter but I just find that easy. Pop it off, pop it over the top and you're good to go. So I'll pass that round 
there, again, either a basket configuration, which is a little bit tight in this case. So I'm just going to take that off, run stitch termination through the ring, which gives me a nice um, textile and metal um, interface. This is a bit long, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around the back. I can pop in the revolver rig again, and we're all sorted. Now, the reason I've got the gate facing this way is I know I'm going to be working down this side of the tree. So what I want to avoid is a sit any situation where this might come in contact with structure. So I've got it facing outwards because I know I'm moving this way, so no contact with any structure. So all I need to do now is I need to pull a little bit of slack to be able to pass the splice side of the line through there to install it. And now all I need to do is I need to, and again, I'm going to switch around the gate on this as well. I just need to do a little pull here to get this in here. Now, you saw before when I was using the sling and the carabiner, because I've got two parts of line, I need to give myself quite a lot of slack. Whereas here, because I can install it separately, there's not a lot of slack I need to give myself when I'm installing. In fact, here, I can even use the Pinto as a minder that will feed slack automatically. And I clip that like that. Now, what this has done now, just undo that. What this has done now is it's separated both parts of the line. I've got pulleys here, here and here. I've got a pulley at the anchor point. So this is super efficient in terms of friction that it's building. And this is now very easy to move down and up on. When I'm deinstalling, I do the same thing in reverse. I'm just gonna pop on my lanyard quickly. I'm just gonna unclip that one. I unclip the revolver rig, take up the slack, undo this, I'm gonna pass the revolver rig through both parts, both textile eyes, pass the bite through there over the top, and the pinto comes off and goes back on the front of that, and that goes back in the vault. So, to me, that's a logical sequence. One of the things that I like about it is it's efficient, it's low friction, no damage to the tree, it's easy to move around, um, but also um, it's methodical, it's step by step, um, and to me that makes it an easy, uh, an easy technique to use. The other thing, of course, that's relevant, you saw as I was installing and deinstalling there, was that um, there's little risk of losing pieces of equipment because I've got them in my hand, um, and then I, they, they're either on the line or back on my harness again. So there you go. Using redirect, not rocket science, just give it a bit of thought to make you more efficient and your job more fun.